This short video is a demonstration of the new table learning functionality in Agena RISC 7. What I'm displaying here is one of the simple tutorial models, the classic Asia model. And if you look at the probability tables in here, you'll see that these have got some values. These are defined from expert judgment. These are the predefined values. Some of them, like this node, which is tuberculosis or cancer, is simply a Boolean expression. So the values in there should be in no doubt. But of course, the others, they will be determined either by data or expert judgment. Now, the classic problem is, where do we get that data from? In previous versions of a gene risk, the responsibility has been entirely yours for determining those prior probability table values. In the new version of a gene risk, we've incorporated table learning functionality, which enables you to learn the table values directly from a spreadsheet of data or from a combination of data and expert judgment. So what I'm going to show you is how to use that functionality. So this is a typical data file. The first row corresponds to the node labels in the model. Because each of the nodes is Boolean, all of the values in the data are going to be yes or no's in this simple case. But notice, and this is very important, we've also got some missing values because our table learning is going to be able to deal with missing values as well. So in general, the data that you'll have available will be in a spreadsheet where you've got observations for one or more of the node variables and where your data may or may not be complete. So that's the data. So if I want to run the table learning functionality, I click on the icon here or I can use the menu item here. And I've got the option here to load the data from file. I'm going to load that one. And by default, I could just run this without incorporating any expert judgment. And that's what I'm going to do initially. But notice there are some default settings here. The missing data points by default are encoded as NA, whereas in my spreadsheet, they were encoded as blanks. So I'd expect an error message if I run this, which indeed, because of those blanks. So I'll simply replace that by the blank and run it again. And the parameter learning is now learning the table values even with the missing data. And you can see, for example, that now the symbol comes up deeming no probability table has been learnt from data. If we look, for example, now at these values, then we can see that they've been changed based on the data. And in fact, everything that we had previously from the original model has been ignored and been replaced by the data. So we've ignored any expert judgment about the table values that was in the original data. And we've got a new version of the model, purely learned from data. Now let's just revert to the original model. Let's suppose that we don't want to throw away all of the knowledge that was in the original model. Suppose we're reasonably comfortable with that knowledge, but we want to extend it with new data. So the table in this case represents new data, which we're going to bolt on to our prior knowledge. So in this case, we'll do the same thing again. We'll load that same file. We'll remove that default value there. But this time I'm going to incorporate expert judgment. The default setting is, is to assume that you're not going to use any of the knowledge that was in the original model. That's the 0%. Okay, so if I left this as it was, it would simply do what it did before, which is learn everything from the data. Okay. If, for example, I have some trust in the data that was there, but want to have more trust in the new data, then in this case, the, the setting 25% is equivalent to saying that I trust my previous knowledge in the model in the ratio of 25 to 75%. And I can move this to what I want. In fact, let's actually move it up to 75%. 
And what this is saying is that actually I am quite comfortable with my prior knowledge. There are 18 rows of data in the table, but I can I trust my prior knowledge in a ratio of 75 to 25%, which would be equivalent to 54 rows of table data built into the existing node probability tables. Now, again, by default, I've used that, that's the same now setting used throughout, but I can change these individually. And in particular, one I definitely want to change because I want to set this manually, is this tuberculosis or cancer? Because of course, I don't want to learn that from data at all because that was defined as a Boolean function. So I'm perfectly happy with that definition. I'm going to assume that all of the others are more or less the same. Therefore, that I'm confident in my prior knowledge compared to the new data by this ratio of 75 to 25%. So I press OK here, I now run the model. And it's all complete. And what you can see here is that we no longer have D's here because none of these nodes have been type probability tables have been learned purely from data. We look, for example, at this. That's now much closer to the original prior, which was 50-50. Similarly, that one is much closer to the original prior. And it's saying M, which means a mix of knowledge and data. Whereas this one, this is based on knowledge alone. That one has not changed at all. And you can see there's the original values. To make it simple to know that which format you require the table data to be in, we're also able to generate an example. So we can generate an example file. It will generate a CSV file, which I'll call here New Asia. And I can exit that. And if I now look at that file, you can see it's generated a completely random set of data, but it's in the format that you need. So if you want to collect now data for those particular variables, you can simply use this spreadsheet file as a template.